So I went to Japan last year for the first time since I was a little kid, and I really, it was a learning experience, because I think I figured out a couple things. The reason why Japanese people are so smart and they invent all this stuff, they're really good listeners. You ever hear a conversation, they're real dialed in, and they're like, oh, oh, oh. Like they're discovering shit all the time, oh. Makes you feel good, you're like, I'm saying some shit. Like, I get there, I haven't seen my aunt in like 20 years, and I see her, I'm like, oh, hey, how's it going? She's like, how was the flight? I was like, well, I slept most of the way. Oh. And then I got green tea from the vending machine. Oh. And then I just sat here and waited for you guys. Oh. I'm like, why do you keep doing that? I'm not saying anything. But, but I figured out, because I'm learning Japanese, and I figured out, because the, the sentence structure in Japanese, like the grammar, is kind of scrambled compared to English. So the verb is like at the end of the sentence. You've got to listen to the whole thing to know what the fuck the person's saying, right? <laughs> Like, it'd be like if I said to you, yesterday, I, at the store, many hats, stole. You'd be like, oh. <laughs> I was like, what like, try it on, sold, bought, whatever. <laughs> like, how you guys, like, wow, we learned something, too. That was crazy. So then I'm watching TV, right? And then uh, they had an English speaking program on there. Like if you wanted to learn how to speak English. And it really tripped me out. I mean, they had a Japanese girl that was from America, so she, her accent was good. And then they had a white dude on there that was fluent in Japanese. And it was really weird because uh, apparently there's no gay accent for speaking Japanese. Because <laughs> this white dude was obviously gay when he spoke uh, English, but he spoke Japanese like a fucking samurai. It's the craziest shit I've ever heard. <laughs> Like this dude came out, he had like a vest on, he was like, hey everybody, we're gonna learn a new phrase today. Today's phrase is, where is the train station? In Japanese, Shinjuku eki wa doko desu ka? I was like, where'd the gay go? We got pray away the gay, the Japanese away the gay, maybe I don't know, right? You know, it's weird. like when you're Asian, everyone thinks you're smart, you know, and I don't like to have to hold up that responsibility. First of all, I'm half white. I fail shit. I don't know everything, right? <laughs> but I want to be dumb this year. That's my New Year's resolution. I want to try to be more dumb, dumber, or whatever, how you say it. I'm not even sure, you know. You want to be dumb, dumbest as possible. Because <laughs> I think you'll have more fun when you're dumb, right? Because if you're smart, you gotta, you gotta hate everything, right? You know, you just because you see all the little imperfections. But when you're dumb, remember that, hey, whatever, who cares, right? It kind of gets in the way. Like, here, I'll give you an example. I met this girl at their show one time. Uh, I thought she might have been mixed like myself. So I was like, oh, hey, are you mixed? Or where are your parents from? What's your nationality? She's like, guess. I'm like, all right. Guatemalan? <laughs> she got all mad. She was like, no, just Mexican. And she was all disappointed in herself. Just Mexican. And I go, okay, sorry. Well, I was pretty close, right? She's like, no, it's not even like the same thing. Now, if you guys know this, but Guatemala borders Mexico, okay, right? <laughs> So in the game of guessing countries, which she asked me to do, a neighboring nation technically is as close as you can get, right? Like, the only other option is America at that point. But I didn't want to seem racist, so I was like, oh, okay, I'm sorry, but isn't it, I, I thought that was the next country, right, isn't it, right there? And she's like, no, it's not even, it'd be like if I was from Spain, and you said I was from, like, Africa or something. <laughs> so I just start laughing immediately, because I don't know if you guys know this, but Spain is separated by Africa by the Strait of Gibraltar. Remember that from high school? Like, you can see you know, Africa on a clear day. For, like, it's like a half an hour boat ride. And, like, the tip of the shit, it's like 30 minutes. It's like right there, right? Like, I know this for some fucked up reason, so I just start laughing. Like, ha, 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 that's, that's funny that you said that, right? It's right there. You used the same example as me, basically. You just did that on purpose, right? She doesn't know. She's like, ha, ha, this guy's funny. I'm like, god damn it, I wish I was dumb. I'd be fucking this girl already. Instead, I'm in this stupid geography debate with shit she never know where shit is. Like, don't you know Africa is right there? And she's like, oh. My name's KT. I got a big day. Thank you much, everybody. Have a good night. This is the KT Tatara Show.